Have you seen that on Twitter, um, I know I shouldn't really be looking at Twitter, I don't really understand it, but the, the trending slogan for, tw for Twitter at this moment is, I hate Boris Johnson. I, I thought, I can't really comment on this. And then it suddenly struck me how Boris has gone from being loved to being hated so fast. And this is somebody who, in a way, I knew many, many years ago. I would never have anticipated this speedy descent for him. And yet, in another way, maybe I would. He studied classics. And if you look at the late Roman uh, Republic, the end of the Roman Republic, you've got two major characters who dominate public life. One is Marius and the other one is Sulla, and they both end in tragedy, although they started magnificently with military honours and the consulship not once but many times. There's a, there, there's a thing which the Romans followed, it was called the Cursus Honorum, uh, the, the honorary rising through the ranks. And um, how, how do you get from one rank to another, lots of ranking here, and how do you make it in your own year, in your suo anno, at the youngest possible age, how do you get to that particular rank? How do you make consul or whatever? And in a way, what happened as the Roman Empire was ending, people were less concerned about what they had to offer um, the people and more concerned with grasping at power at the right time, grasping at power as soon as it was possible to get it, as speedily as possible. And this, this in a way, may have been Caesar's failing. He was so desperate to get power in his own year, suo anno. And this grabbing for power, which is definitely something that we've seen um, in, the, in, in the recent um, uh, British uh, British politicians, they don't seem to do any, they don't seem to have any other life except for their life in Parliament grabbing for power. The other thing they've got is an insatiable desire for popularity and Boris, I'm afraid, has these in abundance. So you could see, if Boris is following the Roman trajectory, it is going to end in tears. You know, Theresa May, <laughs> Theresa May, poor dear, um, you know, she might just as well have got into her caravan the moment she um, the moment she got the keys to number 10, because that was where she was heading. I think she probably had about two months where she was popular, and then she went straight down the tubes. Boris has lasted a little longer. Uh, and But what's extraordinary about Boris is he was so popular before he became Prime Minister, and he is so unpopular now. What has gone wrong? Nothing has gone wrong. He's fulfilled his classical ambition. He has climbed the cursus honorum. He has got it in his own year, sua anno. And what else does he have to achieve? Just the disaster. And that seems to be round the corner, imminent. Anyway, look, uh, please join me for tea, for tea and, um, and, and do um, follow my channel and ring the bell. Ring the bell.